Hi everybody, it's Misty with A Unique Treasure. Thank you for joining me in my channel. Um, I am going to do a quick tutorial. It is uh, really geared towards somebody, uh, two people actually, but it is for everybody. Um, this is part of a um, mentoring teaching uh, swap per se that I'm going to, I'm doing, I'm part of. So I am using um, my porch prints and this is on off-white paper so it is you know could actually look a little bit more vibrant probably but I wanted a little vintagey feel so I left it um, at this and we will actually be using this particular image and I started this video already and I got sick in the middle of it so this is super late this video so I do apologize and here is the one that I was doing um, for the um, you know the video that would have been on time uh, and this is a regular envelope so to get started here you will need uh, some images first you're going to need though an envelope because this envelope is going to be the base in the pocket and this particular envelope I believe is five and a quarter uh, seven and a quarter let me look real quick yeah five and a quarter and seven and a quarter um, but you can use whatever envelope that you want the size of your pocket to be. Um, in this case, I did send this to my partner that I am uh, kind of mentoring. <laughs> and so we'll be using this one. And then what's going to happen is, well, let me not jump around so much. I apologize. So we've got the envelope. And then once you fold your envelope in half and cut it, okay what's going to happen is this is going to be cut and then this is going to be loose and you just glue that down and actually this is a teaching one so let me go ahead and just do it with you guys um, and show you how i did this so let's get the envelope prepared and i want to do more teaching videos but to get my mind like in order is so difficult for me sometimes because I am all over the place. I craft like that though, to be honest with you. I don't have order. I do everything by feel or mood or um, it's nice that I can do that. Um, I have the luxury to do that because this is a therapy for me. And so there's my pocket. Okay. And you could actually take um, scissors. I use these scissors quite a bit. Um, they don't work if I say um one more time, I'm just going to pinch myself. <laughs> they don't work perfectly all the time, but they're good enough to make me want to use them. And I so far cannot find a great quality um, decorative scissor. So these are Fiskar, Fiskar's paper edgers. And I have a lot of these. And so you could actually, if you chose to, take this and do the top of this. And I think the trick is to make sure that your paper, you're holding it kind of firm. And see here, I'm going to go across where I just glued so it didn't like the wet glue. It definitely needs to be not moist at all. And then slowly, and you know, if you have to rip it off, rip it off. So there is the top of that. And then you can ink it and have a really cute top uh, to your envelope. So we have the envelope. I guess I, if you hear that noise in the background, I'm babysitting um, my grand dog. <laughs> His name's Zeus and he's amazing, but he does have allergies when he comes to Florida because he lives in North Carolina now. And so he makes this, you know, weird noise. So I apologize, but he's okay. All right, so here is the, the envelopes. Then, so we have the envelope and then this is where you're going to pick your images. So you can hold your envelope up and of course you're going to probably want an image that is left to right unless you want to do a lot of fill in. So if I were to take one of these smaller images and put it here, it's not going to get, you know, I'm going to have to do something with the rest of it. I do like putting fabric um, down first. It gives it more stability. It feels good when I hold it. And so I, I'm using this particular fabric, but I have used um, muslin. I have used different decorative, you know, just quilting fabrics, you know, cottons. 
Um, it's, it, to me, it doesn't matter if it goes on and stays on, it will be good, right? So I am going to, though, use this glue. This glue can be a little messy, but with the right amount, it's no wrinkle rubber cement, and it's cheap, and it's at Walmart. Um, that's where I got it anyways. Um, uh, here's that arm. Um. I am going to use this and I'm going to lay the fabric down on top of this. So I'm prepping everything I'm going to be using to put together first. Okay. And, it, and if you caught that, it dripped. So what's inside this here drips. And I'm sorry if it's a little um, blurry sometimes the video. Ah, see this. Um, I need to. I think I'm going to find a better, you know, even though the brush is part of this lid, I think I'm going to find a sponge brush or something else to use with this. You want to make sure you get the edges good so you don't have to go back in there with another glue, a different type of glue, because this brush will get onto your fabric if you try to do up close spaces. Okay, so here I think I'm pretty sure. And whenever you glue things, some of these things, this is so fast you can't let it set. But this one, with me talking to you right now, it's setting. It's kind of, you know, getting its stickiness and the air is hitting it and it's setting. And now I'm going to remove my glue on my fingers. But I'm just going to rub, 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 rub. And I'm going to take a corner of this fabric because I do not cut and measure anything if I can help it. And I am, this is gonna, yeah. And I'm just gonna set this across here. And the beauty of this glue, and I could have ironed this first, but you see it's the wrinkles are actually working out with this glue. The beauty of this glue is there is nothing coming through. No moisture, no glue spots. Now I could have used too much, I've done it before when I first started learning how to use the glue and it did not work out so well. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna cut this fabric away. And yes, you're saying, but didn't you, <laughs> but this is a large piece of fabric. I do usually cut the fabric smaller so it's easier handling. And these are not my scissors. I don't know where my scissors are right this second. But we're going to make do. I'm going to try staying camera for... Oops, I just bumped you guys. Sorry about that. Um, some videos are so nice and neat and just move right along because people prep ahead of time. But because this is a teaching video, I wanted to show everybody what I'm doing live. So if I have to fix something, I can do it in front of you guys. Because I do make mistakes. I get ahead of myself sometimes. You know, living in the moment, being in the right here, right now helps a lot. So when my mind goes to, I need to go to Trader Joe's today, I need to do this and that today, still yet, I have to just, you know, either look down at my feet or look at the project in my hand. And I, so what, um, and, and remember, I'm right here right now. So what I'm going to do, instead of trying to go in between, I'm going to kind of probably peel this back just a little bit because I can go under, you know, I can go under that decorative cut and I can line this with something else. So you know what I think would be good for this is um, applique scissors. That would probably be better for this, but... I am wanting to get this video done, so this cut's going to look horrendous, but it's okay because I'm going to cover it up. Okay, so it's still showing quite a bit. I'll go back a little bit more. This is the part that takes time. Now, yes, if I pre-cut, this would not be happening, but it's okay. Absolutely okay, because I love what I do. Because I love what I do, it's just not a big deal. If you're a perfectionist, this is not going to make you happy, but it's okay. 
you can measure out okay there we go so if I would have thought about it maybe I would have decided to measure that out and do that but I know that I can take a piece of ribbon and go straight across there and still have my edge because that is really what I'm going for is to keeping that edge I do like to combine my colors so I am using the archival ink um, aquamarine and the memento rich cocoa these are the two things that I have chosen and I am going to apply the green first and this is not my I thought I grabbed my green dauber so give me one moment I'm just gonna pause this and I'll be right back okay I'm back so I got my little green finger dauber Sometimes I use this. This so it has my brown on it, and this is going to have my blue green on it. And I am just going to go across here to accentuate. You can see this one probably has a little brown on it because it looks like a little brown's coming through here. Sometimes, like I said, I get ahead of myself and I'm like, let's just go ahead and grab a little brown on the green. <laughs> So, is everybody ready for the holiday? Um, the last couple of years, you know, because of me being sick and stuff, I just really wasn't into it. And I was raised with the holidays were a very special time um, of year. You know, we didn't have money growing up, but my mom made Christmas feel like it was just amazing. And we didn't know the difference of rich kids, poor kids growing up. We didn't. My mom just kept us very naive about that which is a good thing um you know there's no keeping up with the joneses that kind of thing and uh it was just really really nice it it was just beautiful so this christmas my goal is to make this very grand for my mother i want her to wake up to a beautiful breakfast i want the house to be decorated i want things that i know mean to her be out visually so she can see them whether they're christmas or not um, we are going to, this year, we can, um, a, we're able to uh, buy her a lot of sweet gifts, like nothing, like no knickknacks. So she has, my mom has everything, she's hard to buy for. So, um, but things like, you know, Ice House Theater tickets, um, things that, she, you know, memories that she can create with either myself or her best friend, Becky or Jacqueline, you know, things like that. So. I just really want this year to be amazing. She's had a lot of struggles with her health, but you know, just you know, keep my mom in her in your prayers, lift her up, and uh, you know, just let's let's really um, send good vibes to her. Her name's Joyce, by the way. And she's my business partner. All right, so here we go. We've got this. I did this side kind of. I probably should go back and do more um, with the brown here a little bit. Um, and if you see, it's just a little. And no, I don't have fabric on this side. This is the side that the pocket's going to go on. This is another thing that you need. Um, just a strip. You just measure it out for this. And you can do whatever you want to decorate this side. I chose to emboss it with the Christmas holly uh, poinsettias. And, um, and then I do also, I hope this works out, because sometimes this paper doesn't like me. And um, I do take this and I cut it. And I make a little pocket. I don't need a big huge pocket because whatever I put in there I want it to be seen. So and I cut it and then we go ahead and do the same thing we did to accentuate the design. And as you see I'm not going up on top of it so much as the side of it wiping like I'm wiping something off of it with a sponge, a little round sponge. Yeah, watch it, you guys. I am in a good mood, and I might start singing, and you hear this voice. It is not a singing voice. And what I also like to do is take a little green or blue-green aqua color because this is going to be kind of the colors of this whole pocket is the main focal color. And I'm not, you know, doing this hard. I'm doing it lightly. Remember, less is better. 
because we can always keep going back and layering, right? There's a lot, uh, so many more ideas. Like I wanted to sew buttons on, you know, here. I wanted to do other things, but this is um, a basic little tutorial. So I'm not doing a whole lot of decorating as besides what's, you know, happening on its own. Uh, you know, what I did with the project um, as I am directed to, I will, you know, just keep getting advanced and advanced and advanced. And you know, I might, I might go ahead and put fabric on this side, but let's do this. Okay, so now I need, um, I didn't plan on doing this part, so I need a, no I don't. Bear with me one moment while I get my brain together. So I'm going back to, because I'm jumping all around. So we prepared our envelope, our pocket. This is our pocket, and I gotta make sure I don't tape it, uh, glue it shut here. Oh no. Yes, there we go. It is so thin that it scares me a lot because I think I glue it <laughs> uh, uh, shut a lot of times. So. Um, now we are going to, my memory doesn't fail me, where is, my, oh, my main, this is the cutest little thing somebody gifted me with this um, last week for Christmas, and oh my goodness, ladies, no matter who you choose as your higher power, this can apply to anybody, it does regards to Lord, you know, God, things like that, that's my choice and my higher power. But I'm telling you right now, this is amazing, amazing, amazing. And maybe I'll share today's with you later. Um, so right now, though, I'm going to take out my image because my image was in there. So you see how big my image is. I'm not really worried about that blue showing so much. And we're going to pretty much cover it up. So I didn't have to worry about putting a strip across there because I think it's going to get covered up. So the next thing we're going to need is, so we have our image, and then we need things to put inside. What I did send to the person I'm working with is this image, this image, and this image, and this image. And remember, these are all from my porch prints. I'm not on the design team or anything like that, but she's got some amazing stuff and tutorials. I mean, we made these little tiny, gorgeous books. I'm going to go get it. You have to see this. Hang on a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, so these are the little books. Look at these gorgeous little books. And they come, It's they're so easy to do. They actually have a spine. Um, these are a couple we just made. We didn't decorate or anything. But they actually are mini journals. And I stuck these pages in there. The directions do not address these extra pages and things that she gave us, which I'm assuming that we should... <laughs> kind of know what to do with them if we are doing journals already. Um, so uh, you just got to be careful with the glue because it's such a small space and the glue can move and end up drying your pages. But aren't, isn't this just adorable? This is a real journal. You could add little tiny papers to it to make it, you know, more junky. Um, but these are just adorable. I love, love, love these. So I was thinking, a little miniature flower put it here when I'm making it again you know maybe you put some holes um, in the spine and put some little tiny miniature beads or whatever I don't know you just put a string down here and put little miniature beads it is just adorable and have a little something hanging see my hands are on the way I'm sorry I mean what that my porch prints you guys gorgeous Go visit her. She's just amazing stuff. And this, I want to include this in the one I'm doing today. Uh, the one I'm doing today, I'm just going to give away uh, to somebody. Uh, the first person that comments on this video, uh, besides the person that I already made one for, um, is going to get this. So if you don't want it, say I don't want it in the comment if you want to comment anyways. Um, but I am going to send this to the per first person that comments. So if you are the first person um, that comments, please um, instant message me or messenger through messenger. Misty Wells Salomon uh, is, um, or you can find me at Etsy, um, a unique, uh, a unique 
treasure shop. It just got changed. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm fixing my web website, so I use Etsy at, at you know as the go-between. All right. So, anyways, if you have any problems, Misty Well Solomon is my S A L A M O N is my Facebook name. Catch me there. Just send me a quick message, and if you're the first person, uh, let me know your address. Okay. So, isn't this adorable too? She gives you this. Cut these out, Dolly Dimple, and her and her frocks. That is so adorable. I love this. Where do these people get this stuff? Then here's a couple more images. This one I'm missing the picture. I don't know what I did with it, but there's a third one to this. So you see her sleeping and Santa at the tree. And then the, you know the next step, of course, is her waking up and finding her presents and playing with them and the sister and he's peeking in on them. So there's a third one. So you could actually do three sets, you know, of something. Uh, and then here, um, this, the, the string is a little short, but this was meant to be like a little hanger for something, you know, that'd be a cute little gift or flip it over, put a pocket here and put a gift card in it. That'd be nice too. And hang it on the tree for a few people. If you got kids, I had six. So there was always like, everything looks so full because I had six kids. And then this little jar, we can do so much more stickle it and whatever. It's just adorable. Wanted to share those with you. So getting back to the project. Um, also, um, you're going to need some lace and, and this, um, my mind just went blank. So I'm not going to sit here and try to pretend I can think of the word, but it's Chevron, I keep thinking Chevron, but the wavy decorative stuff, and you don't have to use exactly what I use. You'll, you can stop, pause the video and go along and get what you want. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to. I want to first uh, do this part. I want to put this around here. So that's what I'm going to do. I am going to, I'm trying to remember if I put this on first because my image is smaller. Let's see. And then I put my image on top of that. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and take my beacon three in one glue. I think I'd remember these by heart. I did so many of them. Um, this messy glue of mine and I am going to put a nice line going all the way around uh, see I didn't get this really good under there so I'm not going to be worrying about putting the glue on here and it means because you're not going to see it okay All right, I hope I'm in camera, I'm in camera. All right, and then let me get this on here because it's getting low and I need to keep it upside down so y'all don't have to wait for my glue to come out. Put in my little cup there and roll the glue off my fingers and then start putting my lace around. Is that the side I want? Sometimes this lace is very difficult to see what side's what, you know? And then and I can take it around, but I'll probably go ahead and cut it on the angle um, that it is. Look at me making a mess. <laughs> it's sticking to everything. All right, so I'm going to go here to this angle. And then I'm going to... Match this up the corners. You see how I cut that on the angle there? So it will just meet nicely. Oh, but you know what? You see what just happened there? My I flipped the lace around and I don't want to do that. So let me put this on this angle here. I don't mind rendezvousing with the glue part of what happens here and look what I did I did my angle wrong my brain sometimes is a little dyslexic and I need it to meet this way instead here we go 
Now the nice thing about this glue, it is forgiving. It will not um, say no, you can't use me anymore. And you can move things around really easily. Okay. And then I am going to cut this on the angle that it is. Actually, do it a little better. Well, that didn't turn out to be an angle, but it's okay. I'm just going to keep going, guys. Instead of making y'all suffer through that, because little flowers are gonna go can go up in the corner. Like I said, this the beautiful thing about this kind of crafting is you can just layering uh, makes the project better. So you can layer more on when you make mistakes, or I make mistakes, and they can be fixed. Okay, and so this is the angle I want to go up to on this one. And then I want, I'll oh, see there what I did with that one. I did what I said I didn't want to do. And for the sake of this video, I just want to move forward. So get your angles <laughs> correct or not and just cover them up like I'm going to do. And then I know this is this angle. See, and I know my, my brain and my hands just don't want to meet together because whatever corner, you know, the corner, you just snip it at the corner and it, you know, you meet them both. It seems so simple, but seriously, when you have this a little slight dyslexia or half blind or whatever, you're, my brain just sometimes doesn't work, but I'm okay with that because I still can make things that people like and that's what matters to me. So here, this worked out for me. I've got the lace flipping out that way, this, this way. So it's like a little picture frame, right? So now when I put this on here, it is going to go into the lace a little bit though. I'm going to have this, but then that's not going to work out. I don't want that. I'm going to rip that off. See how I do that? I'm just like, rip it off. Rip it off, rip it off, rip it off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And flip it the right way and then I'm going to cover up this corner with this one here and here we go and unless you're staring and trying to tear somebody's project apart these little things will not matter to you okay all right and now if I put this here this would be good but I got one more layer to do and that is going to be this beautiful chevron that I call it. <laughs> chevron is more, it's not so curvy. All right. And that's going to go here. And then when that goes there, so I'm going to make it a little higher on this one. Go right at the lace. Okay. So let's put more glue down. Grab my glue here. And last night I could not sleep. Oh boy, let me tell you, I'm feeling it today because I don't know if it's the holiday season or just, you know, I don't know, the excitement of family being in town. It's been a long time, you know, since a lot of amazing good things you know and it's crazy you know my kids are growing up and moving away and they're married and all the relationships and you know I have grandkids now and it's just you know transitioning into living my own life and not living theirs anymore you know it's a good thing it's just different and I thought I'd really look forward to it and I do, I really do thoroughly enjoy, you know, being a grown up by myself with my husband and my mom, you know, here. Uh, but at the same time, I, I do miss my kids. I miss them meeting me in the mom way. Bye. 
And my daughter is here. One of my daughters is here with two of my grandkids that moved away to North Carolina. And then my other amazing daughter is in North Carolina too. One's military North Carolina Army and one's military North Carolina and Marines. And um, they're wives, military wives. To me, they're in the military too because they got to do everything and go through everything. Um, you know, that they have to travel, they have to move, they have to deal with their children, missing their daddies. You know, there's a lot to, you know, having a spouse and a family and the military. And a lot of things that people don't see. And we say thank you for the service, but for me, I didn't really know what I was thanking them for until my family got involved with the military. And then I was like, wow, that's, that's a big, that's a way, you know, the sacrifice isn't only on the field or out there, you know, in the fight, it's definitely at home, at home. But it's also a good thing. You know, there's a lot of advantages being in the military. I am short a little bit here, so let me go grab uh, something real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and I am out of this. So this is where you guys get to see me figure out how I'm going to fix this. But it's okay. I'm going to leave this here for now and let that be. And we're going to go ahead and put the image on. See if that covers it up a little bit. Um, now, what I could have done was place that over this, but I, I choose not to do that because I want the design of the paper to be on top. So this is where we're going to go ahead and, um, you know, accentuate the design here. So I'm going to do green first, or green, uh, aqua. This is aquamarine first. And then I'll go back and put a little brown around it. Um, I'm actually going to, my mom and I are hiring somebody to take over the videos as of January to start doing editing and adding better editing. And so we're going to be going through a transformation and I'm sure it's going to be amazing. And I'm just grateful that we get to do that because that means I get to focus more on not learning so much about videos and editing, but creating and getting better at teaching and you know, that kind of thing. So that, that'll make me super happy. And so I look forward to that. And now, oh, look at me. I'm just, see, that's what I told you. I'll just start talking away. And <laughs> that's the first thing I need to learn is to be able to talk and work at the same time and stay on track. Uh, but it's okay. You know, no big deals, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm taking this brown kind of in front of that green a little bit. And so I'm not covering up the green so much. I just, I love inking. Inking is one of my favorite things to do. It's uh, very uh, hip, hypnotizing like it's, but you see what I did there? Okay. And and what's nice is um, this is really light and bright. And so if you didn't like that, you can always go back and do something like this and tone it down a little bit. And people are probably going, no, don't do that. That's so pretty. But it's okay. It's it, It'll all come together at the end. I had such a hard time covering things up. Like I remember in one of the groups I belong to and I'm like, how do you layer? Oh my goodness. Well, you just layer by covering everything up that you, <laughs> you put down and you just keep it, it like warms up the page. It warms up your project. It makes it homey instead of so sterile looking, right? So making sure where my, um, here, making sure where I know the top is and see how thin this is. I really have a hard time with I should have stuck something in here. And when I get this open, I'll do that again. Okay. 
Uh, hang on, guys. Sorry. I'm trying to get this open. All right. So what I'm going to do, so I don't have to, a problem with this and knowing where my front is, I'm going to keep that there. And now I'm going to take this and I'm going to add this um, over. I'm going to lay this on top over. This is where you can have little miniature buttons, hand sew them here. I mean, you can just do so much with this project. Okay. But I'm trying to keep it as basic as I can. Because my mind starts going, ooh, ooh, go get that. Oh, you should see my table here. This is, I'm just filming on the kitchen table today, and the other table's full, and I've got to get all this cleaned off before people come over. We're going to be playing games and Pictionary and food. Uh, we don't do a lot of drinking here, so there's really not going to be any of that going on, but um, I'm just, I'm so excited about Sharon, we're going to have pe people over that didn't have a place to go for Christmas. That's always fun. New personalities, you know. Um, let's see. What we're not going to do is get stuck on cooking. We're going to, you know, the side dishes are, are so much of our favorite. So instead of focusing so much on the meat, we're going to make a lot of homemade side dishes. And I'm really super excited about that. Because that's something, you know, that can go a long ways for the, the rest of the week but see that I just I love that I love 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 that and I'm trying to remember I don't have the original in front of me anymore so I'm hoping that I can do this this one here is just inked um, so let's just go ahead and ink this card up and you see when I cut it it left the whites but it's okay because the inking is gonna make that go away okay and let's ink that up one thing I am going to have to go get is the um, crocodile or hole puncher. You know, I need to get a hole puncher because I need to put ribbon through the hanger. Now, you could have cut this red, you know, liner off. Like I said, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing, like I mentioned before. And now I'm going to go back and add um, brown to this. And I'm going to use my dauber this time because I want to add more. There we go. I really want to accentuate um, the outside. Because this is in there by itself. So there we go. And what my mom likes to do is take a Christmas stamp and put it on the back there. Um, a lot of times these are journal cards and they're meant for people to write on in the back. So I'm just going to leave this one blank. But you can, you know, go ahead and embellish the back. Um, what I do is I do not like white backs most of the time. I will take not this ink, but the other ink, um, the little vintage uh, it's Tim Holtz, and it is, okay, now i got to go get it since I mentioned it. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I'm back. So it is the Distressed Ink is what I was trying to think, vintage photo. Um, so I'll take some of this and lightly, you know, this is a new brush I'm trying to break in right now. But this is beautiful because this gives you that really nice faint I got this from Five Below, this one here, and I don't think it was $5. I would not pay $5 for this, but I got this from a Five Below, and it just takes the white out and, you know, blends in more, uh, way better. Okay, so this would go in here. Now, this turned out a little more yellow. I don't know why then, um, and I did it on the same paper as before. Okay, and let's get this off. <laughs> Oh, me in this tape, this envelope. Okay, that would that's going to go in there. Now, let's flip this over real quick, and let's warm this up. Instead of me putting more fabric here, I'll go ahead and warm this up so it's not so white. And when it sets overnight and the ink actually sets into the paper, I could not, I mean, I, I fooled myself. I had to look and make sure I didn't use a file folder. Um, because of the way it set in there and the way it looked after it was all done and you know the next day the ink settled 
Okay. Can you see all that? How that's just taken the bright brightness out of it. You see that? And hang on one moment. Okay, I just had to pause you really quick because my husband was leaving and needed to talk to me. So here we go. Um, I went ahead and warmed that up. I don't know if you all can see that, but I did. I warmed it up. And this is where we're going to take this. Um, I just took, uh, this is heavy cardstock, and I embossed it, and I cut it with the decorative scissors. Ta-da. And then this goes here, okay? And then let me go ahead, and this is your pocket. And I'm not going to use, I'm going to use this glue. I'm not, I said I'm not going to use, I'm going to use this glue. That's so funny. I don't complete my thoughts here. I'm not going to use the beacon. I'm going to use this one if I can find, I had a paper clip in there. Here we go. I have to open it all the time. I don't even close this anymore. I just let it dry because I am horrible about putting things back. I, I use it, pick it up so much, I just keep it out. It's more convenient from crafting. And I just line it a little bit. On each side, make sure you don't do the pocket side. I've done that before too. This is the top. Make sure you know your top from the bottom. And then adhere it. And now you have your pocket. You see I'm a little over on this side. So I will just trim that. I wish I had my good scissors. They're nice pointy, you know, the edge is, I'm sure you ladies know what I'm talking about because I don't want to cut anything off. I shouldn't be cutting off. Let me just raise this back up a little bit. There we go. And I cut it short a little bit, but I'll just move it over. There, now oh, that's perfect. Okay, so we have our, you know, the fronts basically done, if I can recall correctly. Now we need to put our ephemera together. Ephemera, if I could speak. And everything gets inked. I ink everything. So this particular thing, um, this is uh, just going to go under. This is going to have the fabric pull on the top. These are great to make for people when you want to give them a gift of ephemera. It doesn't have to be Christmas, obviously, you, you know, throughout the year. Um, you can use just beautiful, my porch prince has a lot of beautiful different options and her stuff is very inexpensive and the quality is just amazing. Um, so I'm going to set this pocket aside and show you a couple things. So this is the, um, this is the, the large piece. Now I ran out of the original, uh, stuff, you know, uh, embellishment pieces. So I'm going to make do. So I'm going to use this one. This is going to go across on both sides. I do not like doing a one-sided thing. I think, oh, let's warm this up here too. Um, <laughs> I said, oh, I'm really loud. And I said, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to pinch myself. Okay, so let's try to just warm this up really fast. I know this video is going to be long. I'm sorry, but I'm really enjoying myself here, to be honest with you. <laughs> yep. I am enjoying myself and this will get better and better. I just like being myself though. If I come on here and I have everything just perfectly done and it's there and it's there, I, we don't get to know each other, you know, and I, I really like to get to know each other. I'd like to show my humanness and this is who I am, you know, that kind of thing. So this is where I'm going to clean off the top of my, uh, and if it's still a little wet, I will smear it. I will use it. I certainly will. I will use it and not waste it and I didn't put this upside down so I gotta wait a second so we're just gonna make the ephemera pieces now and I'm gonna show you something really neat uh, because I had to change up some of my my pieces you know my embellishment pieces I it you know 
I'm just not happy with slapping something on something just to say I did it. I'm not good with that at all. And I'm going to go ahead and swing this around to this side and do it all at once. So make sure you got enough glue on here that it's going to last and stay on. Okay. Oops. I just set that down. And I'm going to put my glue back on here. Put it in my cup. Now, I want the those pieces to stay up top, you know, to hang off the top there. And then I'm going to swing this right around and try to match them up best you can. Okay, there we go. And cut this off. All right, so we got that. You see how that looks? I love it. The brown is cutting me back, you know, behind there where I heavily inked it. So that's very nice. And then I used, I keep my little flowers and stuff in here. And I use these flowers, these little uh, flowers on the one that I sent my partner. And I do not like that. I don't like the white on white. Now listen, I could see like little, you know, lace going down there. <laughs> when I'm working, I get these crafty ideas and that's why it's hard for me to do classes. But I took a, um, a weird kind of pen thing I have. Uh, it was gifted to me. Um, it just says push on this side. It doesn't tell me what it is, but it's one of those things that have the really pretty, look at that green. I thought it was gold, but it's coming out green and it's perfect for this because you see what I did I took this and I colored those last night and I let them sit and dry overnight so I like this better and I could at this time if I wanted to go get little miniature ribbon the little thin stuff and just fold it over like this like you would you know the cancer banner and um, put it here okay and the, you can do the thick stuff or the thin stuff. I prefer the, the thin stuff. But I'm not going to do that with this one because I didn't send it to my partner. That was just an idea I wanted to throw out there. And I'm going to grab my little messy glue, my beacon messy glue. And I'm going to daub the corners. Now remember, you need four for both sides because we are decorating both sides. But I don't glue both sides all at once. I let this... Oh, I've got string in everywhere. Did I tell you I belong to the Messy Crafters group? Because <laughs> I don't mind. I really don't mind when I'm creating. I'm, I'm not worried about my mess so much. My mind doesn't work that way. And then now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to match up the sides. Oh, I did on hers uh, take another image and put it here. Um, let me do that really quick. I'm going to pause you because when I put it in the envelope, right, and even though I have, you know, like a candy bar and stuff down in this pocket, this is still pure white. I And I just, it doesn't set right with me. So let me go get an image real quick to put on there and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I went and cut a image out really fast. Um, and it is not going to fill the whole page. And I'm going to hurry up and ink it. One cool thing about these images is she's made it to where you could actually really take your time and cut out the little pieces. And it looks like it's been torn, you know, really worn, that kind of thing. Um, if you choose to do that, I normally do that. Um, but I have thought I, you know, I was up at 1 o'clock in the morning cutting out stuff and getting this ready. And I thought, geez. You know, there's a lot to this little, this project looks so easy when you're looking at it, uh, but there's a lot to it. So, okay, so here I'm going to put this here, and I could line this again with a fabric to fill in the spaces, but I'm not going to do that for the sake of the time on this video. And I'm doing paper to paper, so I'm going to go ahead and just hurry up and... Um, put this on here. There we go. As you can see, this makes it show how off my... So be careful with that when you put things on. You know, maybe I need to put this crooked too. Um, but it's okay. 
So now that has a better feel to it. And let's go ahead and take your beacon and um, glue the other ribbons on here. And hopefully that's going to help with the um, this being off. I can hide it a little bit. And I do try to match uh, the ones behind so they're not poking out. I mean, that looks so much better than the white on white, you know, it just, I mean, I could, there's so many ideas I have in my head right now, and I like to put a little trim on here, you know, on the bottom, but this is going to be going into this card, you know, this pocket, so here we go, here's this one, and see how that's just coming together, it's so pretty. And then the last one is this one. This is where we're going to make the hanger, okay? So let's go ahead and ink it up really good. I have enough ink on my dauber here, it looks like, to ink this up. Now, I usually use a fatter image, um, but because I'm thinking somebody's going to hang this somewhere. <laughs> and, oh, I didn't grab my hole punch. So the hole punch I just used real quick is the crocodile, And we have the big one and this one. And this one has the larger hole punch. And this is the smaller one. And I probably should have used the larger one. Um, because I went ahead and hole punched the small one. Here, I got it through though, that's a good thing. And I like to take this and put a little knot in it on this side and let it show. And I will probably cut this a little bit, but not much more. And then that way, and then what you do is you add just a little glue to your knots. Pull this over, put it in there, and then this is a hanger now for somebody to hang on the tree or their little wall, and I probably didn't leave enough ribbon to my liking, you know, the length, but it's okay. It's enough, you know, to put something maybe at somebody's desk, you know, a little gift and a card. You know, that kind of thing. And then put it maybe... This this card here, this one, I'd like to see this a little bit more interactive. I, you know, I may suggest to, like, put a little fat piece of fabric here. You know, so it actually has something that it does. I would kind of like everything to do something. And here. And then that's that. So there's your front. I'm going to tuck this down more. Here. Let me move this aside. And I did want to tell you guys, you know, and then you can just shove candy or whatever in here. Let me um, show you real quick. Okay, so I um, stopped and went and grabbed my chocolate. I get these from Aldi's, uh, Milk Toffee Crunch, and you know they have different ones there, and they're really inexpensive, especially to put in these presents like this. And it's a nice piece of chocolate. Like I said, they have different kinds. And then you know um, I did line uh, one of my uh, projects like this. Uh, I put a ribbon on the back here. So you know, do what you want to do. I just want to basically show you how to put one of these together. I was inspired by Nance Smith. Um, she put this uh, quick video out. It is the most hilarious, funniest video I've ever seen, and I love it. I'm so glad she did it because I don't laugh that often, it seems like, and she just really gave me a good laugh, so shout out to her. And so she inspired me by the video that she did to show us how to quickly make these so and put them together, and I just made you know a few of them, and I hope that this inspires you. Um, I will be coming back to show you what other ways you can use this without the pocket on the back and to make gift bags with plain old lunch bags. I mean, it is um, so much fun to do these 
and you can do them without them being Christmas. And I look forward to seeing you then. If you like this video, please share it. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe. It does help me out uh, with the YouTube's algorithm. So I thought that was pretty cool because I just like learned all about that yesterday. And um, so really hit that like button. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas.